Another binomial theorem question, slightly more difficult. Um, in this question, we're asked to expand the following in ascending powers of x up to x squared, simplifying each coefficient. Then we're asked the values for which the expansion is valid. And then we're asked to use the expansion in part a with x to be 0.1 to find the value of the square root of 399, giving your answer to 3SF. Right, let's start with part a. Sorry, part A here. So, firstly, we're going to use the binomial theorem, which we always write down. 1 plus x to the n is going to be equal to 1 plus nx plus n, n subtract 1, over 2 times 1, x squared. We only want to go up to x squared here, so we'll just write it like that. Okay, now, the key thing with, this, with our um, expression that we're expanding. It's not in the form 1 plus something. We must have 1 there. So what we're going to do to start with is we're going to have a big brackets and keep the power of a half there. We're going to factorise 4 out of this uh, expression here. So we're going to do a factorising 4 out of that. So we're going to take out 4 and we'd have 1 minus a quarter x. Now all of this is to the power of a half. So this means that's 4 to the power of a half and 1 subtract a quarter, x to the power of a half. And 4 to the half is 2, so this is the same thing as 2, 1 minus a quarter x to the power of a half. Now it's in the form one, uh, 1 plus or minus, and we can expand. So make sure you do this work first. Don't try and expand that as it normally is. So what we're trying to expand, therefore, is 2, 1 subtract a quarter, x to the half. Keep the 2 outside and expand this binomially. So we're going to say 1 plus a half negative a quarter x plus a half multiplied by negative a half all over 2 times 1 multiplied by negative a quarter x all squared. And now we're going to try and tidy that up. So this is keep the 2 there. It's going to be 1 uh, minus an eighth x. And then we're going to have negative 1 over 1 to 8 x to the x squared. And then we're going to multiply by the 2. So we're going to get 2 subtract a quarter x, subtract 1 over 64 x squared, dot, dot, dot. So this is our expansion of 4 minus x to the half. 4 subtract x to the half. Now for part b, when is this valid? Well, this is valid. Our expansion here is valid, okay, when a quarter, the modulus of a quarter x is less than 1. So that is the modulus of x is actually less than 4. So make sure you are familiar with that. This must, the modulus of that must be less than 4. Okay, uh, must be less than 1, so modulus of x must be less than 4. My apologies. Part C, it says, let x be 0.01 and therefore find the value of 399 to 9SF. Okay, so let's write down, let's copy over what we did for part B. For part B, we found the following is true. Okay, so let's let x be 0.01. Let's let x equal 0.01. What would we get here? Well, we get 4 minus 0.01, which is equal to 3.99. So we get 3.99 the square root of that is going to be equal to 2 subtract a quarter 0.01 minus 1 over 64 0.01 squared. Uh, approximately this is, by the way, because it, it, we've, we're not continued it forever. So the square root of 3.99 is approximately equal to, if we work that out, 2 subtract 0.01 
we're going to get ourselves, it's about 1.9974984438. Now that's the square root of 3.99. If we were to multiply this by the square root of 100, okay, then uh, the square root of 100 is 10. So um, we would get on this side, we would get the square root of 399 using our laws of thirds, but this would be equal to 10 times 1.9974984438, because this is actually equal to 10. So therefore, we multiply that answer by 10, and we get 19, and we're looking for to nine significant figures, so 19.974984, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the next number should be 4, rounding to nine significant figures. Okay, so quite a straightforward question. If you let x be 0 0.01, you get the square root of 3.99. You've got to sub that into the binomial, get an answer for the square root of 3.99. Then you realize if you multiply both sides by root 100, which is 10, basically you're working out the square root of 399, which is what we're looking for.